does it take for the negative marks to be removed from your credit report and what can you do to get it removed? What kind of negative marks do you have? Well, um, they say even though they're paid and closed, um, it was saying that I was late on like a charge. How or, long um, ago? Oh, this was, I paid it back in January. I called them and asked them, could I have it removed from my, um, right, my credit Listen report. to me. Listen to me. Once something is on your credit report, it is on your credit report. However, the longer it's on there, the less it impacts your score. So if you're worried about your FICO score, then you want to make sure that you pay the newest bills first. So if you have a bill that's 30 days late versus you have a bill that's 120 days late or longer, pay the one that's 30 days late first. Because the one that's 120 days late or longer has already impacted your FICO score. So don't go looking at your credit report and finding the, the stuff that is already written off, past due, and think, I'm going to clear that up, and that's going to help my FICO score. No, it won't. So don't bother doing it. Got it? Yeah. You want to make sure that your bills that are coming in, those are the bills that you need to get up to date. But it's going to be on there for a long time. Ooh. That's all right. <laughs> That'll keep you from getting in trouble. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You all do know what a FICO score is, don't you? Just in case you don't know, FICO stands for Fair Isaac Corporation, the company that kind of started these credit scores years and years ago. A FICO credit score goes from 300 to 850. Anything below 500, let me just put it this way, you are FICO'd, okay? <laughs> The higher your FICO score, the lower your interest rates. The lower your FICO score, the higher your interest rates when you go to apply for a loan. But a FICO score just doesn't determine the interest rates that you pay. A FICO score now determines if a landlord will rent to you. In many states, it determines what your car insurance premium happens to be. It's also starting to determine if an employer will hire you. So if you have a low FICO score, you are in trouble.